Hey everyone, it's Sister here and welcome to my channel. For this video, we are going to be doing a fall nail design. I'm super excited about this. This is what my nails are currently looking like. I do have some base gel left over. That's why I look so shiny. But I'm actually going to show you guys my prep. I feel like I haven't shown you guys this in a little while. Somebody requested it, so we're just going to get right in and get started. So first off, I like to start off with my cuticle bit. So this bit I like to call a needle point drill bit. I'm not really sure exactly what it's called, but I'm going to call it a needle, a needle point drill bit. I'm going to go around that cuticle section. I'm using this between 3 and 4,000 RPM. Sometimes I go up to 5 depending on how my cuticles look. Right now, I think this was at 4,000 RPM. And as you can see, I'm going right up inside that cuticle section and this is removing the dead skin that's attached to my natural nail and kind of lifting up that cuticle section as well, exposing more of my nail bed. Um, and like I said, this is also going to help make sure I don't get any lifting and then my nails will actually last longer. If we didn't know what we know The end of the world at the palm of my hand And when it all goes to hell, will you still be my friend? From there, I'm going in with my ball cuticle bit. And with this one, I'm using this one at 5,000 RPM. And I'm going right up on the skin itself. And this is going to remove all that extra dead skin that I have sticking up. Um, any kind of hang nails, anything that's dry. That's what I'm really focusing on. I'm not touching my natural nail beds at all with this ball bit. So like I said, I'm really just focusing on my skin itself, removing all of those extra little dead pieces of skin that you see sticking up and that's like all white and stuff. From there, I'm going in with my 180 sanding band. I'm using this at 5,000 RPM. You can definitely use this between 3 to 5,000. I wouldn't really recommend going any higher than 5,000 if you're using this on your actual nail bed itself. Um, I am using the Sparkle Pro by Melody Susie, if anybody was wondering. But like I said, I'm just going around the surface of my natural nails. And this, I'm just removing the shine. Now, I like I said, I do have some base gel left over. I'm not trying to remove the base gel at all i'm really just trying to remove the shine making sure there's no oils on my natural nail bed because this also can definitely cause lifting Now this is what my nails are currently looking like. From here, I do go in with nail cleanser and I just cleanse over the surface of the nails and I'm just really rubbing it in also up in that cuticle section, making sure all of the dust is removed. This is also gonna help me remove any extra oils. I'm always talking about extra oils on the nail beds and I really want to make sure all of the oils are removed. So any step that I can take to remove the oils is what I'm gonna do. Now for my nail tips, I'm gonna go in with my extra long coffin nail tips. And I do measure, I pre-measure from sidewall to sidewall prior to gluing them down. I just feel like it's a little bit faster for me when I have them like already laid out and lined up for me. Um, but like I said, I'm just making sure, looking at them, measuring it from sidewall to sidewall, making sure it's gonna cover that full free edge part before gluing them down. 
I'm going to go in with my rubber base gel to glue on these tips. I do have this little light off to the side and I do have this linked on my Amazon storefront and it just helps me glue on these tips super fast. I think doing it this way is so much faster than gluing it on with regular nail glue and honestly I just feel like rubber base gel since it's just a little bit more flexible to your natural nail it bends with your natural nail and I just think it's a little more better than using regular nail glue once i started gluing them down this way i don't think i'm ever going to go back to using regular nail glue I'm definitely going to continue doing it this way with a rubber base gel Taking out my 180 sanding band, once again, I'm using this at 5,000 RPM. I'm just going to go ahead and start blending in these tips to my natural nail bed, as well as going over the surface of these tips, making sure that I have a little rough surface. This is going to help make sure that the tips itself does not separate from the hard gel. The end of the world at the palm of my hand When it all goes to hell, will you still be my friend? My face to the sea and my back to the From there, I'm going to go in with my nail dehydrator. I'm going to dehydrate my nail plates. This is going to dissolve any oils that might have been left behind. Um, and then this is just going to prepare my nails for my base gel. Taking my rubber base gel, I'm going to go in and apply a thin layer to all of the nails. I'm taking this product and I'm really rubbing it into that nail bed itself. This is going to act as the bonder between your nails and the hard gel. This is going to make sure that the gel is going to adhere to your nails. It's going to make sure you have no lifting. And while rubbing it into that nail bed, you're really making sure that it's going to stick and adhere. Um, I do like to apply this to the entire nail, meaning the nail tip itself. And then once I apply this to all of the nails, I'm going to cure it for a full 60 seconds. Now for this design, I'm going to go in with my hard build your gel system and I'm going to use the color True Nude. I think this is the perfect color for this full design. So for my pinky, I'm going to do a solid nail full with this color. Just going in, making sure I'm going close to that cuticle section, blending it down, doing a wet layer first. And then I do go ahead, pick up a large amount and apply it on top. Now since these are longer nails, I do do this in the layers and I keep adding until I get the apex that I am happy with and satisfied and I do cure in between for at least 15 to 30 seconds before applying more this just makes sure that I can have a more control over the gel I don't like to try to do it in one shot because that's when it could get a little bit sloppy um like I said these are very long nails so like I said I just do it in layers and it just helps me out a lot when I do it like this but once I have this nail fully done um, I do go on and move on to the next nail. For this ring nail, I decided to do a diagonal color blocking, but with glitter. So I'm actually really excited about this. I feel like I haven't did a color blocking glitter design in a really long time. But all I'm doing is I'm just adding that first layer of the gel, making sure it's in a diagonal. I am going to flash cure it, and then I'm going to add more on top. And when I am doing this, I am pointing my nail kind of downwards so gravity can pull it away from my cuticle section and move it more towards that line that diagonal line because I am going to go in with the nail file and sharpen that side and I call it a wall um so and I do want that wall kind of high so like I said I'm just going to keep going adding builder gel so I get the correct depth that I am satisfied with and just keep flash curing in between for at least at least 15 to 30 seconds before moving on to the next nail. My hand. 
So I ended up leaving that nail just like that and moving on to my middle nail. Now for this middle nail, I'm going to do an extended nail bed. Now what this means is I am just creating an extended nail bed, making it look like my nail beds is longer than what it really is. So I am just going to drag that product down and then I'm going to create a custom shape for my nail bed now you can easily go oval you can easily do it a little more round i kind of like it a little more of like an ovaly shape almost um and i'm just going to create that smile line like now that smile line is the part where you're going to custom and you do what you prefer or what kind of shape you want your natural nail beds to look like once again this is kind of like an over exaggerated nail bed but it just looks really nice on long nails and you can definitely do this with short nails as well and just make it look a little more natural I just personally like how these nail beds look when you're extending it just a little bit longer. Um, so once again, I'm just going to go ahead. I am going to do this to this nail. Once again, doing it in layers, doing it um, slow. I'm not really rushing the process, curing it in between just to make sure that I'm doing it how I like. Also, I'm trying to get it close to the shape as possible so I can have less falling. And I've seen other people call it different names. Like I've seen someone call it a French nail. Someone calls it a reverse French. I just call it an extended nail bed because that's literally what I'm doing. I'm just extending that nail bed longer. And then I'm just shaping that small line into the shape that I want it to look like. Um, so call it what you want. That's what I'm going to call it. <laughs> so moving on to my thumbnail. This one is going to be a full cover nail just with that true nude color. It's going to be straight solid. Once again, adding my layers, building up the product to build up that apex. If you're someone who has trouble building up the apex what i do suggest is after you add your layers you can definitely flip your nail upside down so gravity can pull that product to the center and you can move it while it's upside down as well with your brush and just make the product go to the center of the nail and then when you're happy with the placement you would just have to go ahead and just flash cure it really quick in place before it moves um but yeah best bet is just to keep adding layers at a time until you're more comfortable with using large amounts of gel to create your nails we don't have to say much and if you have to go after that, I do go ahead and just do a full cure for 60 seconds just to make sure everything is fully cured and hardened. From there, I'm just going to go ahead, I'm going to use some nail cleanser and remove that sticky layer off of the nails. And this is because we're going to go in with a 100-180 grit hand file. And this is where I'm going to start sharpening that smile line as well as that diagonal line that we created on the ring nail um and i'm just going to make sure i make that super sharp and straight before moving on to the next step the end of the world at the palm of my hand so for this design, I ended up taking out my set snail coal glitter. I ended up taking out this fine bronze color. I took out this fine dark wine. I ended up not using that color. Um, I wanted to, but I ended up not taking that one. Um, I wasn't sure what this color was. This one didn't have a name to it. But I just thought it fit the color scheme that I wanted to go for. And then I ended up taking up this Halloween one, which is called Great Pumpkin. This one is part of her last year's Halloween collection. Um, I also took out these maple leaves. I ended up just using one, which was more of the orangey color one. But I thought these sequences was perfect for fall, obviously. And then I went ahead and took out this gold foil, as well as some polishes from Melody Susie. I'm not sure which gel collection this one is from but of course it's going to be on their website i'll try to link it if i find the correct item to or the correct link to kit but this is what i like the color scheme that i'm thinking about going for so we're just gonna jump right in and get started so i'm gonna start off with my ring nail and for the ring nail i just wanted to take out this darker color and i wanted to use some of the two darker glitters that i got from set snail co um which was the fine um what was it the fine bronze 
and then I'm guessing the the other one is called medium bronze I'm not really sure I'll find it but I just took that gel polish and I put it right up against that wall that side wall I wanted to have a dark background and then I ended up taking the glitter and sticking it right inside that gel polish and then I did go ahead and do a quick cure and I did go ahead and add both of the glitters on top of each other with a fan brush it was just easier just to add that glitter on top like that and as you can see I'm staying in a diagonal line because like I said this is going to be a color blocked nail from there I'm just going to go ahead and encapsulate using my crystal clear builder gel and I'm going to make sure I stay right on top of that glitter section only and do a flash cure for 30 seconds from there, I'm just going to go in, wipe off that sticky layer, and then sharpen that edge with my 180 grit hand file. From there, I'm going to go ahead and do the other color, which I believe is 1410, and it's more of like an orangey color, burnt orange, which is really, really pretty. Um, just going to add that, do another strip of this, and then I'm going to go in with the orangey maple leaves. Place that on top and then do another flash cure for 30 seconds. Once again, I'm just going to go ahead with my crystal clear, encapsulate that one little section, flash cure it in place, and then move on to filing and making sure that line is straight. Going back in with the darker brown gel polish, I'm just going to fill that little space in. I'm not going to go too far down because I kind of want the bottom to be clear. Um, so you are going to see me just drag that brown just a little down. And then I'm going to go ahead and use that pumpkin glitter. Um, and I this color is so pretty, this glitter. But I'm just going to go ahead and lay that right on top. And then once again, do a quick flash cure to hold it in place. I wanted to go in and add some gold foil pieces to the bottom part of this nail so I did go ahead add a thin layer of crystal clear builder gel and then started adding some gold foil to it and I did add some medium to larger pieces of this gold foil because I really wanted it to pop and show but once again once I was happy and satisfied I did a quick flash cure for 30 seconds just to hold it in place and then I did encapsulate that bottom half with once again that crystal clear and then did flash cure it again. Moving on to the middle nail, I'm going to take that darker gel polish. I'm going to push that right up against to that smile line, dragging it down a little. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and stick the glitters right into that polish. I'm going to take the darker glitters, which is that fine bronze color as well as that medium bronze. I want to call it a medium bronze. It's more of like a chocolate hollow glitter. It's really pretty. But I ended up using the fine glitter first and then adding the chunkier one on top. Top, and then right under that I go in with that pumpkin glitter color making it look like an ombre transitioning down and then when I was happy with that I did go ahead and flash cure that in place once again at the bottom of this nail as well I went in with some clear builder gel and started adding some gold foil to this bottom half section then flash curing it in place once I was happy with everything I did go ahead back over the surface of these nails and did encapsulate with my crystal clear builder gel and then cured it once again in place. When it all goes to hell, will you still be my friend? My face to the sea and my backs to the
moving on to my point to nail this nail i want it to be an ombre so i'm going in with that gel polish as the background for the glitter and i'm going to add all of the three glitters that i've been using um and after i add it i do kind of add um start with the darker color and then i do go in to add the orange last and i do kind of pat it in place but after i add all of the three glitters i do go ahead and add the maple leaves on top i just think it just looked cute placing it right on top um and then when i was happy with how it looked i did go ahead and do a flash cure once again for 30 seconds After I flash cured that in place, I'm going to go in and add a layer of clear build gel, making sure that these glitters are encapsulated and is not going to move around. Um, and when I'm adding this clear build gel, I'm not trying to move it around too much because I don't want to create any bubbles and I don't want to remove that glitter either. So like I said, once I do this step, I do flash cure it in place for 30 seconds. Come with me. To finish this nail off, I'm going to go in with the True Nude and I'm going to add this around that top portion, also blending it downwards. Now when I am doing this, once again I like to do this in layers, I kind of added too much build gel right here at this point. I normally don't add this much, but I am working it to make sure that I'm not going too far down over top but I want it enough where it looks like I'm transitioning from the natural true nude color to that glitter. So as I'm going lower, I am blending it down just to make it more sheer as I'm transitioning downwards. But once again, once I'm happy with the placement of it, I do flash cure it in place. If I feel I need more at that cuticle section, I do go ahead, add a little more, making sure I'm right up against that cuticle area. And then once again, blending it downwards. Now that the designs are all completely on the nails, I do go ahead and do a full cure for 60 seconds. Now I'm just going in and removing that sticky layer on the surface of the nails with some nail cleanser. And then I'm going to go in with my 100, 180 grit hand file and I'm going to start filing these nails. I do start off by filing my side walls first, making sure it is straight. I do the free edge and then I do go over the surface, just filing that, trying to get as close as possible to the shape that I can. If we didn't know what we know The end of the world at the palm of my hand And when it all goes to hell Will you still be my friend? From there, taking out my fine tapered drill bit, I'm going to go around the cuticle section, making sure that it's all blended into the natural nail. This is going to ensure that I'm not going to get any lifting, um, but on top of going around that cuticle section, I am going down the body of the nail as well. And this is just going to help me file if I need any more shaping. And then I am using this at 13,000 RPM. Once again, this drill is by Melody Sue and it's their sparkle pro and it is the best drill ever if you guys are interested in finding a good drill this drill i think is hands down like one of my faves um i do have a promo code so you can check the description box for that as well if you're interested in purchasing this drill The end of the world at the palm of my hand When it all goes to hell, will you still be my friend? My face to the sea and my back to the land If you can't come with me Understand. 
after that, I'm going to go in with my white buffing black and buff over the surface of the nails. This is just going to give me a smooth finish. This also helps remove any scratches that I may have caused either from the hand file or from the drill. Now for this design, I wanted to do some artwork on my pinky and my thumbnail. So I'm going to go ahead and take out all of the three colors, put it on a palette, and then using a small detail brush that I purchased from Amazon, I'm going to go ahead and start hand painting a leaf shape. Now for this as well, I'm trying to stay majority to the bottom of the nail. Um, and literally it's like the corner of a leaf. I kind of wanted it to look like it was coming from the bottom up. Um, so that's what I'm doing and I'm kind of just like eyeballing it and kind of like remembering off the top of my head what a leaf would look like But once I add that I do go in and try to add a little more detail to it and this gel polish is wet I haven't cured it yet So I am going to take some dark gel polish and run it through that lighter color to make it look like veins um, And I think it came out really good. Let me know what you guys think of my artwork The end of the world at the palm of my hand When it all goes to hell, will you still be my friend? My face to the sea and my backs to the All right, you guys, so for this design, I wanted to add some crystals and I really wanted to go and use some larger bling. So I have these orange bling pieces that are so freaking gorgeous. Um, I'm going to start adding it to the middle nail. And as far as the pinky, the pointer and the thumb, I left it pretty simple. Um, so all I'm doing is just adding some rhinestone glue. I'm going to glue these down, these crystals down. I'm going to flash cure it in place and then i'm gonna go in with my shiny no white top coat i'm going to top coat all of these nails and then do a final cure for 60 seconds And this is the final look you guys I am so happy that I created this set it is so pretty I just love this one I don't know like it I think the burnt orange look to it like you know like the leaves like when it starts to turn color it's just so pretty to me I'm like loving this set the crystals as well is just bring it all together the glitter itself once again is all from set snail coat of course I'm going to link everything in the description box I do have a promo code for set snail Cool. so go check that out all of my glitters majority of my glitters i mean is from set snail cold she has amazing glitters so go check that out 
And if you are interested in purchasing my hard gel system, of course, I'm going to link that in the description box for you guys. I do have like bundle deals going on. So go check it out at lgmpro.com. Of course, everything is going to be linked in the description box for you guys. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was really fun to make. It took a little long, but I think it was so worth it. But yeah, I hope you guys have a blessed day. Let me know what you guys think of this set. And of course, I will see you guys in the next one love ya when it all goes to hell will you still be my friend my face to the sea and my backs to the light and if you can't come